Good morning. Time to rise and shine for Lorcan Sunshine in a brand new episode of Golden Sun The Lost Age. Why was why that was synergy, wasn't it? Are they adepts? Who are you? Are you the ones who defeated Poseidon? That's quite something. Who are you that you could defeat Leviathan? If you are strong enough to defeat Poseidon, you are too dangerous to enter Lemuria. The king's orders are clear. We cannot grant you entry. King? Who is your king? King Richard, King Louis, King Kong, Larry King. <laughs> His Highness, King Hydras, of course. That line of kings is from Robin Hood Men in Tights. His, Maj His Majesty has ruled over Lemuria for centuries. King Hydras has decreed that Lemuria must be kept Safe from dangerous outsiders. You say that we are dangerous, but do you include me as well? Pierce! Did you join them in battle against Poseidon? Yes, he ended up getting the final blow. Impossible! Everyone knows you possess great courage, but you are still a mere Lemurian. Such comments do us all a great disservice. I battled fiercely alongside my friends. Exactly to my point. He ended the battle. Leave our landing to me. You have my word that we shall create no problems during our, our stay. Will you not permit us to enter? Fears, I know you are a man of your word, but the king's orders must stand. You understand that we cannot simply ignore the king's orders, don't you, Fears? I mean, they are just doing their jobs. So, I completely get that. What is King Hydras doing? So, you people really take your king seriously, don't you? Ow. Insolent pup! Do not dishonor the king of Lemuria. We are peaceful, but quick to anger. Pup, I must be twice your age. Who are you calling pup? You wish to see Lemuria, yet you know so little of us. I am far older than you. Show respect. Ha! Older than me? Inconceivable. Mm. Actually, Corinne, th these two are perhaps older than all of you combined. Babby must have spoken of this to you. In Lemuria, time passes quite slowly. Ah, well, I suppose I recall something of that sort or another. Maybe. But to imagine for a moment that these two gentlemen are older than I am, it's a bit much. But perhaps I was rude, and I hope you accept my apologies. My ignorance misled me. Well, just so long as we're clear on that. 
But if you're fighting as a skilled as your wordplay, then perhaps you aren't so dangerous to us. Wow. I agree. Perhaps his majesty will provide an exception in their case. Yeah, they just trying to burn us with that sordid word line. King Hydras might be willing to reverse his order if we can confirm with him, wouldn't he? We shall, we shall speak with him at once. King Hydras has been seeking news from beyond the seeking of time. He will want to see you. Wait here. How long do you think we'd be waiting? Good point. Time means little to most Lemurian. Mere moments to us could seem like a lifetime to outsiders. You seem... Sorry. <laughs> you seem young to me, and yet you are probably an old man among your people. I would imagine that you have probably done enough waiting in your lifetime. King Hydra's instructed us to be kind to elderly at all times. Respect your elders. They, they seem trustworthy enough. Shall I let them in? I can see no reason not to. We won't get in trouble, will we? I will be with them. Now please, let me walk the streets of my home once more. I beseech you. Now we place our trust in each of you. You may enter, but don't do anything rash. If you cause any trouble, we'll hunt you down and exact swift and terrible vengeance. Do we have your word? Ooh, ooh, finally! We could be waiting, what could be waiting for me in Lemuria? I can wait another moment. Oh, hush. I'll keep a close eye on them. You have nothing to fear. Very well, Piers. We place our faith in you, then. Enter freely and... peaceably. You must already be aware of this, but you are not permitted to enter the palace. If the game were to find out about this, we'd be in big trouble. Don't worry. I won't let that happen. This hydro is really fearsome. Fearsome is in the right word. King Hydras has lived longer than anyone. He is most wise. <laughs> While everyone respects him and holds him in great reverence, it would be a mistake to call it fear. I certainly do not fear him. The king... He... He what? You will understand once you meet the king yourself. To Lumeria, the city you've all been longing to see. All right, let's go into this ancient city. I cannot remember the last time we had visitors in Lemuria. Not in a great while, certainly. So... What we actually want to do... is if you see um butterflies
they will have items. Like right there. Should be one right there. Oh. Oh, oops. I didn't want that. Well, actually, we'll just. Uh, can, can I mind read the dog? What happens if I do drop? No. Oh. No. No, come on. I I didn't want to Who goes there? I've not seen you in Lemuria before. Wait a moment. I was wanting to do m more m more searching. You must be the travelers who arrived with Piers. Is your name Felix, perchance? Piers? You mean the lost one? Have I earned a title in my absence? We'll worry not. Piers is lost no more. I seek counsel with King Hydras. Has His Highness been told of my return? Word was sent, but I do not know if it has reached the king. What do you mean? Lord Conservato is meeting with His Highness as we speak. Not Conservato. What's wrong, Piers? You don't look pleased to hear that name. Grin, <laughs> what do you think you, of what you have seen of Lemuria? It is a magnificent city. Or do you mean the castle? Both are magnificent. And you, Felix, do you agree? Any newcomer to our town would doubtless feel the same at first. In ages past, Lemuria was a far lovelier, more grand, and more lively city. His Highness, the King, tells of days gone by of a more brilliant Lemuria long before my birth. Over the countless years, our people have lost vigor, enthusiasm, creativity. Lemuria has fallen into a slow collapse, a city that has lost its spark. Lemuria, as you see, it is only a shadow of the city of legend. Only I had the chance to see the city in all its splendor. But how does Conservato fake out in? King Hydras believes that our decay is related in some way to alchemy. Alchemy? 
King Hydras wants to find a way to stop the ruin of Lemuria. If there were anything we could do to, to help stop it, we would. But the Senators are willing to take action. They're stubborn and they fear any change. Senate? Where does the Senate? I am the Senate. Not yet. The Senate is the group of elders who determine policy in Lemuria. Courts Conservato holds the highest office in the Senate. The Senate usually opposes any new ideas or proposals introduced before it. Word of our arrival will never reach the king as long as Conservato has his ear. Ah, corrupted. And his conversations with the king are incredibly long. We have no choice but to wait patiently here. Is incredibly long Lemurian time or non Lemurian time? Why don't we spend our time looking around Lemuria until then? Oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense now. So, apparently not all the butterfly locations have something. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Stardust. Oh, which reminds me, I have a self-feather. Stardust is another forgeable item. a rusty sword. <laughs> Let's use growth on here. Three cow. Ah, there we go. And I'm gonna use that right away. Uh, 145, 137. Now, the one thing I've been looking for, or two, is this fountain. I'm going to save state, just for now. Do you wish to test your luck at the Spring of Lemuria? Go ahead, test your luck. So if you remember from Golden Sun 1, it 
if we throw in medals, we will get we will get prizes. Closer to the middle is better. However, the timing can be as bad. First throw and we get a new summon. We can now summon Eclipse. So I'm gonna be here for a little while. So I'll so I'll be back in a bit. Oh my god. I got amazing things. Although I accidentally got one of the same things. Let's take a look at Hestia Blade, Unleashes Crucible Fire. Twenty. Um, I'm going to give that to you. And I'll give the floral dress to you. Jenna the Brilliant Circlet. I think I'm just gave you. Yeah. Although 
Although that would be good for Piers. It's it's not that good anymore. Uh, sure. Wow, those new items I just got. Which were the Hestia Blade, Aegis Shield, Erebus Armor. Brilliant Circlet. Crown of Glory, Floral Dress. Wild Coat, Crafted Gloves, and Minerva Helm. The only way you can... So yeah. In Golden Sun 1, there is the same thing in, in the city of Atolpi. So I just got greatly boosted. So how about we start exploring? Mm. Do you seek to know more about the drafts that provide us with such longevity? Once the Marian battle battled special drafts to weave here, the troubles through Wayard. A man named Bavi stole the remainder of our precious draft and fled with Maria. Hmm. So Bavi stole the remainder of the people. We got a cat. No, there's one place I want to see. And 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 also that new summon, like I don't think I've gotten that lucky. Although I did accidentally save over the that second wild coat. I do believe you are who I wanted to talk to. Are you the travelers that came here with peers? I am sorry it has taken me so long to visit, Uncle. Pierce, you are alive. Yes, I've managed to survive against a um, great many trials. What a fascinating coincidence. We've stumbled across Pierce's uncle's house. I must thank you for looking after my nephew. This is Felix and Cranon. Although he doesn't bother mentioning Jenna and Shiva. Okay, I see how it is. They are my friends and have aided me tremendously. 
If my sister could only hear how Tib and Young Fierce has become a mighty warrior. Where is my mother? We've been so busy, we arrived that I haven't had a chance to see her. You were not peers. We saw you playing at the fountain. Shut up. We also see, see you scoop up beneath the butterflies. I said shut up. Now that I think about it, this place is a mess. What happened? Mother is always so neat. No. She hasn't fallen ill again, has she? There is still illness in Lemuria? My mother was born with a weak heart. Piers, I'm sorry. Your return comes too late. After the tidal wave washed you to sea, your mother suddenly fell ill. The shock of losing you was too great for her poor heart. She held out and hoped for your, your safe return until the very end. Perhaps your mother gave herself up to ensure your survival. Does that... Does that not sound like your mother? Where is she now? She rests in the cemetery now. Check the headstones. You will find her. I'm... I'm choked at the moment. I'm... I'm actually... tearing up. The scene always gets me. Wait. I ask that you leave Piers to his mourning for now. That's what we were going to do. Now he is struggling with the loss of his mother. He needs time. I get that. I just said that we wouldn't follow him. You came to Lemuria to learn more of alchemy, did you not? Yes. And we didn't ex and we didn't expect this. I suspected as much. Piers was right to bring you here. Piers told me his secret. The mission he was given by his highness, the king. even had the title would have not carried Piers off. He would have left us. Such was his fate. You 
look confused. Pierce told you about this, did he not? No. Curious. I can't understand why he would do that. If our conservator had not led the Senate to oppose him, he would have left sooner. I wonder what news Pierce has brought with him. Either way, I do know why he has brought you here. Felix, don't tell me that he hasn't at least told you that much. No? Did Pierce tell you nothing before bringing you here to Lemuria? No, he really didn't. Unfortunately, I know a little more than that. While Pierce confronts his sorrow over the loss of his mother, you have some time. I shall write you the letter. So that you can see Lunpa. Lunpa has locked himself in his tower and rarely comes out. But if I send him this, he will see you. to carry it to him in his tower. There. You should be able to see him now. That scene always gets me. My eyes are watery still. And that's gonna be the end and that's gonna be it for now. Thank you for watching. If you subscribe to Sunshine, then you will have sunshine all the time. Good night. Also, this music isn't making me feel better with that scene. <laughs>